Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to the Fjordor Community Cluster. Today we're doing some taming, a little bit of testing. What I want to do is head over to Asgard, where the Shadowmans are, and try to get one tamed. Now we're not using the normal taming method of sneak up behind it during the day, slip a fish into his back pocket, and hope to not get aggro. What we're going to do is take some sheep, throw them out beforehand, let the Shadowmane kill it, and that should weigh the Shadowmane down. From what I've seen online, that's a possibility. I didn't know that's a thing. That should keep it from roaming around while we're trying to get it tamed and make things easier. I hope. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Let me show you where we're at in life. It is getting towards nighttime, so we've got plenty of time to get prepped for this. So, a couple of videos ago, I went ahead and got some of the fish already put into soul traps and stuff. So we have some. These are my extra ones. So we've got them. We've got a ton of the sheep and stuff. Let's go ahead and grab all those. I've got 17 of the fish, so it should be plenty. Let's drop these guys in here. I don't want to forget them. This is our little taming bin for today. So what we're going to do is we'll take one of the fish out. We have some between 1.0 and 1.5 is the highest. And all we have to do is throw them out, and then we can set a fish basket down. I will show you real quick. It's so that we don't have to worry about the spoiled times on the fish, because it's only, I think, 40 minutes before the fish actually expire if you're not in water. So we'll take the ones that we tamed. There's always water over by the shadow main area. You throw them out. And they're not going to run away because they're tamed, right? There are fish. You can set your basket out. And then easily trap them. So we can leave them in the water. Go over there, feed the shadow main a few. And then come back and grab some more. It should be a little bit easier than trying to do all this while we're in the taming process, you know? Let's go ahead and pick you up. So we'll get some water while we're here. And what I need to do is head over real quick to probably the volcano where the mantis are. I know, man, we've had a lot of problems at the volcano. But I need some polymer. We don't have enough for our ghillie suit. We are wearing ghillie to make life a little bit easier. I need to get roughly, I think, 300 to finish these two parts off. And then we'll have our, our high-level ghillie. Should help out quite a bit. We've got some bug spray, too, I need to remember to take. Right here, we got quite a few. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and just... It'll be fine, it'll be fine. Spoil time should be fine on them. We've got plenty. We'll take that with us as well, just to help out with any of the bugs over there. But I got our chainsaw, I've got some gas, I've got our bat, I've got our thyla. We should be good. I need to grab some fiber along the way as well. Oh yeah, got a tech replicator finally. Took forever, but makes life easier. And I got a tech feeding trough. Slowly moving up in the world. Tell you what, man, it helps out a ton with the spoil time and stuff. I kind of use it as a refrigerator too. I know, I know, don't judge me, I do eat out of the dino bin. It happens. And then we got some eggs here too. I finally got an egg for our Giga. So I have a high level male, but I was always missing a female. So we went ahead and tamed, as you can see, a level 35 one. Me and another one of the server members did some taming over in the volcano. We got two Gigas and a Tech Rex. And luckily on the first try, all of my stats got moved from the male onto the new egg. So it's fantastic, and it's a female, so I got another high-level one. It's gonna take a while to get them all raised up and bred and stuff, but it was a very good taming session. And then I got another one for the Tech Rex. So kind of the same situation, I needed a female, and we found one that was over in the volcano when we were dealing with the Gigas. Same thing, got some better colors, got all the good stats moved over. It is a very, very good thing. I'll show you real quick before we go the the difference on the Rexes. So my Tech Rex was one of those shiny ones that got tamed. Fantastic stats, however, the colors are not ideal. It's, yeah, it's kind of like a pink and purple, and it's, I mean, it's okay. Not the best, but the new one. Ah, dude, I'll tell you what, the new one looks fantastic, man. So we got some grays, we got some blue, we got some black, the accent colors are better, and everything got moved over to the new one, so I'm kind of excited about that, huh, Junior? Yep, yep. It'll be some definitely some boss-level tech wrecks, seeing as how the, the uh, father is a shiny one, so the stats are super high on it. Not too bad, man, not too bad. However, enough of that. Oh yeah, well, I say enough of that. The dragon we got in the last video, the 114, this is how it turned out. So I haven't ever had one before with a solid color body, it's all gray. The underbelly and then the kind of like the feathers on top are a blue. And then the webbing is pink. Pinkish purple. It's not too bad. I like it, man. I like it. It's kind of a low level 114, but there's another server member has a max level one. Definitely do some breeding. Try to get some good eggs. Get the good colors. And this is another one that I'm breeding up to try to get the colors. I want the wings of this one on the dark body of mine. 
So I borrowed this from somebody else on the server. So it's 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 a lot of stuff, man. And our poor little magma sword. That dude takes forever to get raised up. It's been two days. He's still a little guy, but we'll uh we'll get him there, man. We'll get him there. Drop these off, and we'll head over, try to grab our polymer, and then we should be good to go before morning over in the Shadow Main area. Do we have everything? Chainsaw, Thyla. I think we're good. Cold water, because we are going to the volcano. The swamp doesn't have very many of the creatures anymore. It's kind of weird. They're not responding very much, so not too sure what's up with that. Let's go northeast. Usually a little bit safer, not by much. We safe? I mean, we're never safe. We're always safe-ish. Let's jump on... Let's go on the bat. We got a little bit of a flight to get over to where the mantis are. Now, we've had a lot of problems over here. I ended up accidentally dragging eight of the dragons from the trench all the way to over here. It was a, it was a bad situation. Almost lost the Sinnoh. Almost lost myself, the egg. I totally forgot that was there. Okay. Well, that's fine. That's fine. We will dive bomb down. Get us some speed. <laughs> I keep hitting those things. So me and the server member were over here doing some taming on those gigas. And one of the issues, so we were on Thylas, right? Trying to get it trapped. Somebody, not me this time, kept hitting the vent with our Thyla and getting boosted in the air. It's, it's a scary thing, man. Thylas are not made for flight. I'm just saying. They land very well. They don't bounce. So it could be an, uh, an issue, you know? I know it's super dark. Let's uh, turn on the torch so you can see. It's going to be a little bit hot. All that we want is some mantis. I could have spawned in over here on the side. However, I have always had issues with that. I want to get some Velanosaurus too, man. So up here on the other side of the lava, we should have a few mantis. It should be only a couple kills. We only need about 300 or so. Watch, now that I'm looking for them, we won't find any anywhere. Let's drop you down. Let's throw you out. And if we can, we'll use a chainsaw. If we're in a bad situation, which we probably will be, We'll just go ahead and use a Thyla to harvest the Mantis. We'll get as much, but it'll be fine, man. It'll be fine. Watch out for the flames, buddy. You are flammable. Hoping not to drag any dragons while we're trying to get these as well. Where's all the Mantis? If I would have spawned in over here, this is where the spawn point is. It would have been Mantis everywhere. Yep, there's some snakes. Okay, copy that. There's one. A lot of stuff around. Yep, we're probably just going to kill him. Harvest with this. Please don't hit me with the, the web. There's 100. We're halfway there. We just need about 300, maybe a little bit more. Okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine. Slow motion jumping. This right here is why you do not spawn in on the southeast one. It'll bring you over here. And <laughs> it's always a bad time. Sometimes you're like getting killed before you even get teleported all the way in, you know? I don't see any dragons in this guy. That's always a good thing. I can definitely use a chitin back at base as well. Anybody else? There's one up here. Turn that light on. I know it's hard to see. It's nighttime, man. That's the way it goes. So how much have we got total? 200. I want at least three. A little bit over. Yep, there we go. That should be the last one there that we need. 350. Is there one more close by? I just don't want to run out, you know? And then we need to grab some fiber. Can always do that on the way back to base when we teleport in. Yep. Don't want to mess up the Megalanias. Would prefer not to get the Mega Rabies, if possible. It's never a good time. I don't see any more. We might be fine, man. We might be fine. Kind of weird that the Mantis aren't that much over here. Like I said, normally, if you don't want them, they are all over the place in packs. And it's going to be it. All right, so <laughs> let's get out of this area. At least we didn't have any problems with the dragons. I say that before I fully check up in the sky. Vanaheim, Southwest. Watch out for those centipedes. I know they like coming when you're trying to teleport out and start attacking you. Yep, I hear you. Stay over there, man. Dude, I am almost. Just wait, just wait, buddy. Take the damage. It's going to sting a little bit. Passive, please do not run outside of the bubble. I was about to say, Junior! <laughs> Thought he got left, man. It's a thing, dude. It's a thing. Had it happen a couple times. All right, so we'll get back up to base. Make our last two pieces of... Oh, yeah, I need to get some fiber. Make our last two pieces of ghillie, and we should be good to go. I'm going to head over to Asgard 
and do some scouting. I think I just needed like a hundred or two on the fiber. I was barely short. I really need to do some more resource harvesting. Usually, when I'm not recording, I am doing everything else in the world. It seems like everything takes forever to get done on the server. I keep getting sidetracked, man. There's always something different to do. You start doing one thing, or you have a plan, and next thing you know, you gotta go help somebody do a, a team, and then you find something you want, so they help you do a team, and the next thing you know, eight hours have gone by, and you didn't even get your, your first task done. It's, it's, it's the way it goes, man. It's fantastic, too. I love it. Yep, I hear you. Alright, back to base we go. Everything is so lit up. These plants out here, dude, they put off so much light, man. I even turned my normal lights down just because they're so bright. So we don't need the prime meat. We've got so much meat. We don't need that. We've got so much of it. I'll put all that stuff in the grinder, so we'll definitely keep it. It's kind of hard to find metal on or in the, the biome over here recently. Somebody got a bracky. Decided to take out all the metal nodes. <laughs> I'm just saying. Alright, so leave those. Don't grind our good one. We didn't even need the chainsaw. It's fine. It's fine. Alright, let's make the rest of our stuff and let's drop off the Titan Bow of Venom. Nice. Oh, we've got a chest piece in that. I didn't even realize. So, we need you and you. Let's make one of you. And one of you. Ah, fantastic. We've got 87 left. Just enough for some repairs. Oh, we got 12 left. Oh, dude, we got barely just enough. I like it. I'm glad we killed that last one, or else I would have been sad if we had to go back. <laughs> you would have never known, man. I would have cut that part out of the video. All right, so those are done. Believe you and you. So I'm hoping it works out. If anything, we'll go back to the old way of taming and just abandon the sheep issue. If it doesn't work out, I'm not going to spend all day trying to do it. Let's change into our gear. Not you. I'm not going to paint it or I need to do something with it, but let's leave our flak over here. It needs to be repaired. Like I said, it's been rough lately. So we've got the bat for flying. We've got the thyla just in case. Let's put you down there. We've got all of our sheep. I'm not sure how many we need or if it's going to work, but we will try. And then we've got a bunch of our fish and stuff in our baskets. So I think we're set, right? I'm forgetting something. I know I am. We got medical brew just in case. We've got burgers for food and some cold water. Oh, you know what? Ah, let's, um, adjust wingman number five. Look, let's not talk about one through four, okay? It's been a very, very eventful week. Let's do... Okay, so the auto scream is not on. I don't want him messing up the shadowing part, right? Oh, we only have 67 on the ammo for the shotgun. Should we make some more? We'll be fine. We'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's not gonna be fine. It's never fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right, I'm going to go to Asgard. I will see you in the morning. I'm going to try to scout us out a Shadow Mean. And like I said, the highest level one we can find will tame. Even if it's low level, we'll just use it for testing and see if the method works. So either way, we're getting a Shadow Mean. Hopefully. There's supposed to be a 180. Right there. Interesting. Okay, so it's in a good spot. Totally forgot we have the scanner for this map. Somebody finally got a tech transmitter belt. So it makes stuff a little bit easier. The colors aren't the best on it, but we need to kill out everything around here, too. It's got a 24 with it. All right, let's do this. Let's separate them. Junior, Junior, stay up here. Stay up here. Oh, it would have been so simple. All right, let's try to kill off the other one is the main thing. Yep. Oh, please do not dismount me. All right, so the 24 is gone, which is fantastic. I totally forgot my net launcher. I was going to go back, but when I teleported over here, it was already daytime. So where is... Where's the other one at? Oh, he's right here. Okay, cool. Junior, over here. I have tamed him right out here before. And it makes life so easy. Oh, dude. It's fine. It's fine. Please go up high. Buddy, fly, man. We're fine. We're fine. I saw another one over here. I'm kind of worried about. Or did... Okay, they killed it off. Nice, nice. Okay, we got a lot of stuff over here. So what we need to do is drag this guy. Oh, it's right there. What level are you? You're purple. Oh, it's only a 30. Dude, I tell you what, the colors on that one are fantastic, man. Look at it. Yep, okay. A little bit of tag here. It oh, there's a green one. Want to kill off as much as we can. As much as we can. As much as we can, please go. 
So hard seeing in third or uh, first person on the bat. Just saying. Get a little dizzy sometimes. So we'll clean this area out and then we will go ahead and throw the sheep out. Let them start eating it. There's another one. What level are you? Another 30. Okay, 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 okay. A lot of 30s. It might have been the same one. Oh, dude. Look. Kind of like a uh, rainbow light color. Yep. Okay, okay. You're fine. You're fine. I want to kill the correct one. The bat will be all right. Dad is not dying. Junior, hang tight, man. Okay, we got raptors. We got raptors. We got raptors. Buddy, I got you. Shoot, man. Oh, dude, I almost lost a bat. Are you guys working together? That is not allowed. I'm just saying it is rude. Yep, I don't want to hit the shadow, man. Yep. Oh, dude, wingman. Look, buddy, I know we've had a rough couple days. I need you to work with me here. I'm trying to... Okay, the raptor's gone. The shadow main, we're sailing shadow main distance! Okay, let's go over here. We're fine, we're fine, we're not fine! Okay, get on the cat, get on the cat, get on the cat, get on the cat! Oh, don't break my armor, please! There's more shadow mains! Why are there so many shadow mains? See, here's the thing, man. The shadow main taming is overrated, okay? Just gonna say that now. We've got a... another. Is that another, another 30? Was that a 167 shadow main? 66. 66. And a 30. Okay, where's ours at? He's down there. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. He should be getting sleepy here soon. I didn't mean to jump off. Oh, I didn't mean to jump off! Alright, we good. We good. We alright. Let's do this. He's there. Let's start with the sheep. Sorry, Junior. Sacrifice. And it had to land up top there. Okay, you're good, you're good. Let's get another one ready. Okay. Let's come over here. A little bit of bait. Okay, okay. Kill him, kill him, not me. Kill him, not me. I'm not sure how many he needs to eat to get overweight, is a thing. Throw him another one. They don't go very far. Right there, buddy, right there. The other sheep, the other sheep. I don't want the salmon. I got dismounted, I got dismounted! Kill the sheep, dude, not me! There we go. Let's get another one. Yep, you're taking a while on that sheep. I'm just saying, for a 180, that's kind of, uh, kind of disappointing. It's almost the same colors as the very first one that I ever tamed. So I'm kind of excited about that. He doesn't seem overweight. He's not eating them, though. Eat this one, buddy. Right here. He disappeared. He's coming this way. I know you can't see it. He's right there. There you go. There's the sheep, dude. He needs to eat both of them. Is that not enough to get him overweight? He's slower. He is slower, if you can see him. All right, cool. So let's do this. Let's go over here. So we definitely need a lot more. Let's get rid of all these carcasses. It didn't work out exactly like I wanted to, but it does work as far as weighing him down. You just need a lot more sheep, dude. All right, get all these gone. Let's get rid of the shadow mains. I don't want to have these guys around to get aggro. And I need to go over and get some of these fish in a basket. Get rid of you. Where is the closest water source? I know there's one right over there in the shadow main area. We might fly over to that real quick and get the baskets. Hmm, interesting. So you're going to need a ton of sheep, man. Probably a good maybe 10 or 15 of them, I guess. I don't know how many I threw out. I have to look whenever we do editing. But definitely need a lot more. Buddy, we're good? 
Climbing on air. Just saying. It's a little bit weird. Let's get the bat out. It's a little bit faster. Pick you up. All right, let's get our fish in the basket real quick. And then we'll start the taming. He should be in the same spot. Dude, we almost lost a bat. Holy crap, dude. Look at the health on this guy. Please do not be any shadow maids over here. Please and thank you. All right, fish in the basket. Let's do... You right there. And you right there. And you. They're all 1.0s. Where's the higher level ones? It's fine. It's fine. Look. <laughs> You're not a fish, Junior! One, two, three, four, five. There's a little bit higher level one. We're gonna throw out as many as we can. Not the Thyla! Let's go ahead and start trapping them, too. So there's 10. I think we need, like, 13 for a max level. It's always nice to be able to do your fishing beforehand and have everything ready, you know? I get these last couple out. We'll throw in our bug spray. And then we'll head over, try to find Junior again. He should still be uh, be a little bit full, man. We gave him quite the uh, quite the meal. And hopefully not have to worry about him moving around too much. He should go a little bit, but not as far since he's kind of way down. We've okay, got seven more. we got six. That's fine. Initializing. Hurry up, please. We have stuff to do today. Do the fish weigh that much? They do. Oh, dude, I didn't think about that. All right, so we're going to do this. We have to pick these guys up. Again, it's all testing. Try to figure stuff out. Here we go. Let's throw you out. I'll use him for holding on to stuff. They are 15 pounds. It is weird how it's so different between... In your inventory or in a soul trap, you know? So! A little bit of food so we're not hungry. A little bit of bug spray. I don't know if that helps with the shadow mains or not. I know it helps with the bugs and stuff in case there are any out there. There's some over there, which is why I brought it. In case the mantis and stuff are around. Let's try to go up over here where it's a little bit safer. Oh, dude, I really hope he's still there and by himself. We kind of had everything cleared out. It's kind of a... Uh, Sticky situation, but it's a good area. It's a nice open field. Like I said, I've tamed one over here before, but he walked so far, man. All right, so what we need to do... There's our Shadow Main. I'm going to leave the Thyla right over here. Let's kill the Dillo so he doesn't cause any problems. But I'm going to leave the Thyla over here. Since he has all of our fish. And Junior is laying down. All right, so let's do this. Put you down there. We just need to watch the timer on our fish for sure. Yep, wingman. There you go. Say, so don't let me down too hard. Yep. Good time for that, man. I would too. Just saying. Shadow Man's around. All right, he's on the run. Looks like he's still moving same speed. All right, so the sheep, I'm not sure about it yet. Very close, very close. Nice. Please face away. Kind of. Okay, kind of worked out. Kind of worked out. As soon as we get the first feeding in, we'll be able to have the tracker up and pay attention to his distance. I think it's under 30 is whatever you kind of cause problems. Easy, buddy. Easy. Doing good. I know you got a full stomach of sheep and sheep wool. Okay, first one's done. Oh, he is overweight. Did you see the symbol on there? Ah, oh, dude, that's fantastic. So he shouldn't be going too far, man. He can't jump for us either. Trek you. So, as soon as we get a little bit of weight off of the Thyla, I'll go ahead and pick him up just so he's not in aggro range, right? Let's grab the highest level that we can. There's a 1.2. That'll work. He is getting dangerously close to the Thyla. We got those over there, too. Don't forget. Doing fine, Junior. Fine. Doing fine. 95 away, okay? Pop back up. Need to be able to see you. Getting very close to the thyla. Let's go ahead and move him. 
since we're over here, I'll put him up on the cliff. Please do not get into any problems, buddy. No problems. Which way is he facing? He's facing us. Okay, come this way. We're 38. Let's crouch down. <gasps> I'm telling you, man, they got like a homing beacon on them. That comes right for you no matter where you're at. Turn that off for the moment. It's cool, though. I kind of want to see if he can jump at us with all of that... That fern stuff, seeing how he's weighed down. Probably not. Just might, might just make it safer, you know? There we go, there we go. Face away. Ah, they face you. It is so far to go around. Let's do this. Let's run. Take our chances running. We got a Dillo over there I'm kind of worried about. Alright, please stay there. Please stay there. I need one more feeding. We're kind of close to his face. I'm kind of worried about that. Oh, dude! You don't smell me. You don't smell me! Oh, he smells me! Up in the air, up in the air, up in the air! Please do not reset your, your taming! Okay, okay, okay. Can he jump? He can still jump! What's the point of the sheep? Oh, dude, we lost some gilly! It's a bad day, it's a bad day! Junior, please get me up! Oh, I shot him! I meant to shoot the Maywing! I hate Maywings, I hate Maywings! They are a pain, they are good for nothing! Okay, 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 okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're not fine. We're not fine. Look, man. Look. Okay, look. It's been a bad day. It's been a rough day. I don't like the sheep. The sheep are not worth it, man. Where's the shadow me? He's there. How's our taming? I shot him. 99.5. Maybe I didn't shoot him. You. Out of here. Out of here. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're good. We're good. Pick you back up. All right. We're missing our boots, okay? That's part of our... Part of our way to stay safe. Not for the armor, but for the invisibility, right? He's going to face us, isn't he? Lay down, buddy. Take a nap, man. You've had a very eventful day. We gotta get this done before nighttime. We've got a lot of fish to feed you. Please go that way. I can't believe he stood up right whenever I was at him to feed him. We were like seven meters away, man. I'll tell you what. That's one thing I don't like with the taming mechanic on these, is how they, they face you, right? I know it's to make it difficult, but there's a point to where the difficulty is... Like an annoying thing, right? It doesn't always have to face you. Too close to his face, I know. Let's get back around here by his back. Come on, we're doing fine. There we go. 14.5, he's still overweight. Good to know. Let's run away. Wingman's hiding like, dude, I don't want no part of this, man. Alright, so he's on the run. Another 1.2. We're gonna have to refresh our fish before too long. Oh, he's getting distance. Oh, he's going far. This is the problem I had last time. He went so far, dude. Oh, we got super close. Super close. It's not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay, let's glide over. You know, right by the other pack of them. We got to stay outside of 30 meters. So that he doesn't get up. We are kind of cutting it close on time for him getting up to move again, though. Make sure those other ones aren't sneaking up on us. Oh, Junior, come on, man! Ah, I knew it! Look, 
I am not built for shadow main taming. This is why I have a bunch for breeding on my single player, so I don't have to tame them anymore. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Drag them back over here, drag them back over here. So I'm not too sure the point of the sheep. I know I said this before, but I thought it was to keep him from moving around so much. He's overweight. He's got the symbol that he's overweight. Or that could be slot locked, right? From all of the mutton. Ah, that could be the thing. We'll see. If we actually get him tamed, we'll see if there's a bunch of meat in his inventory and how much weight that the actual fur is. Which way are you facing? Okay. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. Crouch down. Stay there. Stay there. Please do not get up to move. Give me like five seconds and we'll be done. Okay, another feeding. I don't want to shoot him. Let's grab another fish. We got 1.0s left. What's our timer like? 30 minutes. I don't think we have 30 minutes of daytime left, so we might not need to refresh him. We are going to feed him one more time and then stop by and grab some out of the thyla. Oh, we got a bunch of stuff over here, too. That was a 174, Dillo. All right, Junior. There you go, right by the rocks, man. Right, right in the trees. Or not. Or not. Yep, there we go. There we go. Oh, nice, nice. He's facing the other way. All right, 30 meters. We're at a good spot behind him where he won't get up. 22%. Oh, dude, that is so bad, man. Okay, let's go back over to the cat. Grab a couple more baskets, and then we'll see where he's at in life. Where is the cat? Oh, he's so far away. Let's, uh, let's get the bat out. My bad, Junior. <laughs> little bit of a... Little bit too far away there. Alright, let's grab a couple more of these. A little bit of food for us as well. He's at 28%. Oh, dude, we might not have enough fish. Ninety-eight percent still. I did not realize he was that close. I know I saw the numbers, but I did not see that he was that close. So definitely I need to get more 1.2s or 1.5s. I did quite a bit of fishy, but it just wasn't that many high-level ones in the cave. I think if I go to do this again, I will definitely try to get some of the higher-level ones. It makes a huge difference, you know? Oh, he's coming this way. Oh, he's coming this way! We're good, we're good. Alright, try to find a high level. 1.2, better than a 1.0. I think I only had one that was like a 1.5. We might have already used it. He's at 34 though, we'll see, we'll see. We might have enough. I hope we do. Really hope to get him tamed. So we got this one perfect, man. He's facing the other way. He just laid down. I like it. It's actually working out. It's not bad if it goes easier towards the end. You know, instead of it being kind of all easy towards the start, and then you mess it up at the end. I'd rather mess it up at the start of the team. That way you can always reset and not waste all your time. Nice, nice. We're at 42. We're going to have to go back and put some more fish in baskets here soon, too. That's a one. That's a one. That's a one. So it doesn't matter from here on out which ones we use. We'll feed him this one and one more and then go grab the cat and come back over here. Use whatever's left in him and then we need to go to the lake to get the rest of them. There is a lake right over that way. The last time I tamed over here, that's what we ended up doing was he walked all the way over that way. 
So we might be actually closer to that lake than going over there to the blue area. Oh, he is super far away. Look at him, man. The dude is traveling. Is this back to us again? It is. Easy. I need to make sure we get further down from the head. Do not get up and run. Further towards his back and not as much towards his head. Okay. One more and we'll grab the cat. I am super curious about the... The weight on him. Is it slot locked? Is it just weights? Is he laying down already? He is. That's kind of weird. I've never seen him get up and sit down so quick. He's only at 50%. I think I might not have enough fish. Oh, dude. It is going to be such a fail if I don't have enough fish for this. All right, one more. Fifty-four percent. Oh, dude. Oh, please do not aggro the stego. There you go. Lay down right there, buddy. You'll be all right, man. You'll be all right. I know it's raining. It's all kind of dark out. I'm sure you're getting sleepy. You've had a lot of fish and sheep today. We'll see how many fish we got back. Oh, there's a pig. I almost messed it up. I stood up too quick. Okay, let's get the bat out. How many do we have in baskets? We got we got two left that we need to put in baskets. And let's see how much is in the shadow main. I mean in the I wish it was a shadow main. In the cat. We got five. Let's pick you up. It's still uh It's still going to be too heavy if I put them all on me. He's still moving, so that's a good sign. We got oh, plenty of time to go get more fish whenever we go to. That was, uh, <laughs> that was almost bad on my part. Let's pick you up, pick you up, pick you up. He's down where that pig is. That is not good for us at all. Oh, he's facing us. Junior, go this way. Okay, we're good. We're good. The pig is busy. The shadow man's laying down. We didn't we'll run into him. It's going to be close on the timer for him getting up. We might have to throw the bat back out. Oh, yep. Okay. He came. He's coming for us. He's coming for us. He's not. I thought he was. I need to put the bat down on the hot bar, not the sheep. Dude, we're in a super bad area here, man. Oh, he smells me. He smells me! Okay. It's gonna mess stuff up. Ah, the Stegos, man! Everything is coming back here, and it's gonna cause problems. Let's do this. It's gonna mess up the team. Oh, please do not let this be a fail. I haven't failed a Shadow Main team in a while. But it might be on this one. What's our taming at? We're still at 96, so it hasn't reset or anything. If it resets, I am gonna be super, super disappointed. I'm just saying. And it'll probably be a while before I do this again. <laughs> Shadow Main taming, man. It is so stressful. Come on, dude. Just die, please. I need to go feed my guy. I think I might need to save my guy. Nope, okay, okay, look, look, please do not hit the Shadow Man with bleed. Please do not hit the Shadow Man with bleed! Okay, the Stego's got him. Oh, I don't want to hit him! He don't care about me! That's cool! Is it because I'm on the cat? Is that a thing? Where he doesn't care about the Thylus? What's your attainment efficiency? Did I hit you? I didn't! He's like, dude, I just fought a Stego, I'm out. Hey, we're good, we're good, he's laying down. 
crouch. We ran way too far. I don't like running over 30 meters close to him. Has a potential for him to see you, and then it's a whole other issue. Oh, dude, I hope we have enough fish. That's kind of where we're at now, is having enough. I need to kill this pig off, too. He's busy. Let's help get rid of this pig. Let's actually throw the cat out. Hurry, buddy, hurry. Please be a low-level pig. Please be low-level. It's not gonna be low-level. Watch it be a max level. At least you have a little bit of time in between the feedings. Oh, dude, he's right there! So he must not aggro on Thylas. That is good to know, man. We gotta watch the timers on our fish, too. The stupid Argentavis is gonna cause problems. Not anymore. We're not gonna feed him yet, because he is going to... get up before we get there. Play this safe. I think we're good. Let's use some more bug spray. Don't know if it helps! Okay, he's going for Dodic. Now would be a good time to go... Let's do it now. Put our other fish into traps. How's our weight? We're fine. We only got two more. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go grab our other fish. It'll take just a second. And that way, what we have is what we have. Either it's gonna work, or we're gonna be short by one fish. I tell you what, if we're short by one or two fish, I'm gonna be sad. Because I have a couple more back at base. And I left them. Because I thought we had more than we needed. All right, make this quick and painless, please. One for you. One for you. And one for you. All right. Basket. Basket. Initializing. Okay, okay. We're good, we're good. Let's throw... I want to put the bat down there whenever we pick them up. Okay, there's one, and there's another. So, we need to refresh our fish. I let it out! I got one more basket. I accidentally hit the button. My bad. Please do not run away. I thought whenever you have them on your hotbar, it refreshes the timers. Does it not? Is that not a thing anymore? It is on single player. It does. Okay, well, that one we picked up. Let's get rid of this one next. Okay, look, look. All right. I'm new to this, man. I'm new here. Let's get up here. Get him his food. Hopefully he's done with the dodic. I'm not sure what's up with that. He's running for some reason. Why is he running? That is weird. Okay, he's fine now. I wonder if he got... Got a whiff of me. I was pretty close. I like to have the HUD turned off so I can see which direction he is, but I kind of need it on to stay the proper distance, you know? There you go, there you go. Kind of the way we need you. Alright, so here's the thing. We need to get around 10% on each one to make this work. Just for how many fish we got left. I need to see what levels of fish are to the multiplier after we do this feeding here. But this will get rid of the last one that we have that's almost getting ready to spoil, so we should be good for the spoil times. So he's 72, okay. That's not good, we get like... I think it was what, 77, so we get 5... 6 points on each one? 6%? We've got a... 1.1, a 1.2, a 1.1. Okay, let's do this one. So here's the thing, too, I'm going to try. If he gets to where he's almost tamed, and we need one or two more fish, I am going to hurry very, very fast, go back to base, grab, I think I have four more, and hope that I have enough stuff to make fish baskets. If I can't make fish baskets, it's not going to work. Because I don't have enough time to run to base, grab the fish, come back, and go find fungal wood. <laughs> it's just a poor planning on my part if it doesn't work out. 
The cool thing is we live right by a lake, so I can do the fish into the fish baskets there before I teleport back here. Okay, we're close, we're close. Easy. Nice, nice. We're at 80. Okay, I like it. I like it. 80 with three baskets. I don't know, man. It's going to be super close, dude. We got a 1.0. Okay, we've got two 1.1s and a 1.0. Please leave the trike alone. I do not want to have to save you again. And don't go to your friends over there, man. Just saying. Oh, there's three of them. Was there three before? There might have been three. Let's crouch down. I don't want him seeing me. He's getting super close. I can already see it now, man. I, I, I got a bad feeling I'm going to have to go all the way back to base to grab those other fish. I thought it said I needed 13. I had 17. So... I'm not too sure. It's alright, it's alright. Easy. Nice. 87, okay, okay, okay. We're gonna need one more fish. We're gonna need one more fish! Let's be smart. Let's use the one that's getting closer to spoil time, you know? The other problem is, it is getting very late in the day. I might not have time to run back to base to grab the fish. I don't know what happens at nighttime. I don't know if I need to wait till daytime, or does a taming just stop at night? It's probably going to drop a lot of effectiveness if it does continue through the next day. So, I mean, it's again, it's a testing day, man. I didn't expect a test on a 180. But, that's a good testing. I always want to know what happens if you don't get it done by daytime. I know they roam around at night, so you can't actually do the taming. So hopefully we can get these last two feedings in. He'll be awake during the day, or the night. I'll go get the fish, come back, clean all the stuff out. Hopefully he'll stay alive. Just saying. 94. We're not going to be able to do it. Oh, we're not going to be able to do it! And it's a 1.0. I think we're going to get 5% on this last one, and that'll put him at 99.1. If for some reason we get 100% on this, luck is on our side, but we're getting too close. Holy crap, dude. Speaking of food. Okay, okay, getting close again. Getting too close. Please do not aggro the stego. Crouch down, man. Crouch down. It's a 50-50 shot. You know that, right? 50-50 shot is going to go to 99.1 or 100%. Deciding factor right here. Hopefully. Hopefully. Luck is on our side. Somebody miscounted the fish somehow. Math is not my strong suit. Just saying. I was told there would be no math today. Oh, dude, we got him, man! That is crazy! Junior! You have caused me so much stress, you have no idea! Stop walking, stop walking. Look! Look, hey! <laughs> we had a rough start here! I gave you some sheep. You caused me problems. Let's see what's going on here. So, it was slot capped, not weight. So, I don't know how many sheep you gotta feed them for them to get overweight. That's probably why he didn't get any more of the fur, right? He ate too much of the lamb chops. So, I don't think feeding them sheep is going to work. I don't think it's worth it. It's only 83. He's got 700 pounds in weight, and he got slot capped. So, you have to feed him. Let him wait until all this kind of spoils. Feed him another one and do it that way. It's not worth it. Not worth it at all. However, <laughs> oh, we got us a shadow main. Dude, right before nighttime, too. I know we were under the map there. Let's not talk about it. I'm kind of excited. I can't believe that worked out with the last one. So... Let's get somewhere safe to it. Let's go back to base. Let's go back to base. 
We'll take a look at stats. I am leaving all of that here. I don't care about it. I don't want to see sheep ever again. Those things are so hard to breed and raise up without them dying. Just saying, man. I had to borrow some from a guy on the server because mine were dying whenever I was trying to get them all bred up. Why are you tired, dude? You did nothing, man. You sat on my back the whole time watching. I know how it is. He acts like he's all stressed out. Alright. We safe. Is nothing eating us? Usually when I teleport in here, there's all kinds of stuff to try to eat me. Where's my bat? I had to set up some torches and stuff for people to find my base because I'm not right at the teleport. So I set up some little signs pointing to where my base is. And some little torches. Kind of works, man. It's not too bad. Oh, dude, I am curious on the stats for this guy, but I want to be safe when we take a look. It's not far to base. Not far to base. I can't believe we actually made that by nighttime, too. And didn't have to come back for the other fish. It, it uh, I would have been so sad if I had to come all the way back here and wait till the next in-game day. So, let's leave you here. Let's pick you up. We'll go out on the front here. We'll go out front. So, oh, we got a basket here. How did I miss that fish down there? If I would have come all the way back, and it's a 1.2, if I would have come all the way back to base and had that on my hotbar, <laughs> I would have been sad. Let's throw that out real quick. I'll pick it up and save it for later. Junior, you're lucky, man. You're the one that survived. You're, well, kind of out of water. You might not survive very long. All right, look, I'm stalling. The stats on the Shadow Mane. We have got 42 in the health. Not bad. 31 on stamina. That's okay. 33 on weight, again, that's okay, and 36 on damage. Overall, not too bad. The colors are crazy. We've got, looks like a mint, we've got a green, and a very light blue with some gray. So not too bad, that comes out to 7,700 on the health. Stamina is 1,845. Our weight is 705, and 334 on damage. So not too bad, man. It's it's fairly decent. I mean, for a 180, I figured it'd be a little bit higher, and then our movement speed is 41, which really doesn't matter because it doesn't matter on teams. That's kind of where a lot of our points went to, that and food. I mean, it figures, man. Food and movement speed. I'm surprised it's not like food and oxygen. Ah, uh, dude, well, not too bad of a day. It was a testing day. We tested on a max level 180. Doesn't always happen, but it worked out. The sheep are definitely not worth it. I don't know what the point of using sheep is to give them overweighted. As you can see, we fed them quite a few, and he only had like 188 pounds, or 88 pounds, something like that. Nowhere near enough to get him way down to keep him from moving. He got slot capped on all of the mud. So it's uh, it's not a way I'll ever tame him again. It was stressful trying to get all the sheep and stuff. And next time, I will take better fish. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed our testing today, trying to use sheep to tame a shadow mean. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.